Welcome to the Redeemer University podcast. I'm your host, Zach, and today we are going to be exploring Redeemer's kinesiology program. I am joined by Dr. Lorenzo Love, a professor here at Redeemer in the Kin program. If it is your first time here, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out all of our other episodes that explore various aspects of Redeemer, Christian education, and so much more. Thank you for making us part of your day. And with that, here we go. Go. Today we have an amazing special guest today, Dr. Lorenzo Love. Lorenzo, how are you today? I'm doing pretty good, thanks, Zach. How about yourself? I'm doing well. I'm excited to talk a little bit about kinesiology with you today. Uh, we're gonna, you know, get into uh, various aspects of the program and just what you know, ex- what students can expect with it. But before we get into that. Please, you know, let let our listeners, let our viewers know, how did you become a professor here at Redeemer? And could you share a little bit of your story? Uh, Yeah, sure. I don't know how far back you want me to go, but uh, keeping it more recent to Redeemer, uh, I think, yeah, finishing up uh, some of my graduate schooling, uh, I kind of always had an idea, like, as soon as I was finishing, like, you know what, I'd like to teach one day, actually, which was surprising to me. I never really wanted to teach, but uh, and so I wanted to do that and I liked the, I was a strong Christian, uh, am as well. So, uh, I liked the idea of redeemer. And so that was kind of my, my goal, I guess God kind of laid that on my heart, uh, at one point and the ultimate goal is kind of, okay, I want to like to teach at redeemer one day. And so that was towards the end of my master's. And then eventually I started my PhD and I got my toe in the door, uh, halfway through my PhD teaching part-time at redeemer. And then God kind of just opened up more doors and it got more courses. And uh, that's ultimately kind of what led me to uh, becoming full time here at Redeemer. So That's awesome. Thanks for sharing. Yeah. And, and so what would your official title be then here at Redeemer? Uh, uh, right now, I am an assistant professor, I believe is my okay. in kinesiology and physical education. Awesome. Yeah, no. And, uh, and again, for any, anyone who's watching, who's interested in our physical education or kinesiology, this is definitely the episode for you. And if you're not interested in those, you know, feel free to, it's still, you know, going to be a great episode, <laughs> full of great information, but let, let's maybe let's dive into this. So what would you tell a prospective student who's considering taking kinesiology at Redeemer? You know, what would, what would you say to that, that student? Oh, I would say Redeemer a great, in particular, just focusing on Redeemer uh, side of things. It's a great community. Uh, seeing students in my class, getting to know them individually, uh, one-on-one, which is something that I love a lot. Hopefully the students feel the same way as well. Uh, and they, they have a great community. You'll see like the cohorts walking around kind of uh, together and they'll also obviously have classes together as you would at other universities. But being a I would say other universities being usually much bigger, you won't really get to know a lot of people in your your uh, cohort. So Redeemer is really good where you really get to know pretty much everybody in your cohort. Uh, you'll be sharing times together there. So really good there. Um, it's nice. I think it's a nice thing that uh, students will get to have the uh, uh, kind of just a small group of professors teaching them a bunch of courses as well, where you really get to know the professors, they get to know you which is especially important uh, later on if you graduate when it comes time for writing reference letters uh, for students, where students will uh, sometimes, for especially for grad school stuff or even jobs as well, whatever it might be, lots of things there, uh, you, you might need a reference letter. And so reaching out to a professor, and since a Redeemer will know you probably quite well, we can actually write a lot more of a personalized one to you. Uh, so that's an advantage there, I would say. and. Yeah, I would still say as well, like uh, our, our KIN program, very strong uh, as well. It's been really been growing over the last uh, few years, actually, too, which is we got a big influx this year as well. We saw as we met with some of the first years. So uh, really encouraging there. So I think that's some of the things I might start off sharing. And then just Redeemer community stuff. You'll get to figure that out, too, from lots of other sources. But, yeah, it's it's great. And I'll, I'll just give a quick plug. We do have a couple of episodes specifically focused on the epi- uh, on the Redeemer community. You can go check those out after this episode. But mm-hmm. uh, that being said, so you kind of touched on it. And could you maybe you know unpack this a little bit more? What would be kind of a major difference uh, studying kinesiology at a Christian institution like Redeemer as opposed to a, a secular public institution? 
Oh yeah. So yeah, I went to a secular institution for my uh, undergrad. Well, actually all my studies, I guess it was all secular institutions that I went to. Um, and so, yeah, with there, obviously if you're a Christian, which presumably you probably are if you're considering a redeemer, but if not, that's fine too. Um, you're not going to have kind of a, a wholesome approach like you would get at redeemer. Uh, I would say that. So, I mean, Redeemer, you will hear about the core course as well, too, which is really good for kind of getting that uh, worldview of uh, seeing how God has created things and ordered things uh, and lots of other things as well, too. You learn about that, too. And focusing a bit more on Kinesia in the kin area as well. Uh, yeah, that's something that we will focus on, too, obviously. Uh, I love being able to talk about my Christian faith very openly in the classroom. So getting to see uh, kind of a hopefully a focus uh, on the idea of like, okay, the kinesiology, you're studying how the body moves and uh, God has created our bodies. So kind of trying to focus as well on kind of the reformed uh, tradition of like creation, fall, redemption, restoration, that theme, trying to keep that pre uh, prevalent throughout uh, your courses and time at Redeemer, especially in kinesiology where it's studying, okay, like how has God made our body? Okay, what do we have to do? What's the fall look like for the body? Uh, whether illness, sicknesses, and deterioration, whatever it might be, versus redeeming it and restoring it. Um, and so trying to keep a nice focus, a Christian focus uh, on that sort of thing going throughout it. Uh, I would say that's probably one thing that we strive for uh, in kinesiology. And same with other programs too, but Kin, we're specific to the body and how it moves. So, yeah. I, you know, I, I once had a, a transfer student come to Redeemer and he said something that stuck with me. He, he had studied kin specifically at another institution. And he had said that the main difference that he experienced is, so at his other institution that was not a, not a Christian school, he studied, you know, the bone structure, muscle tissue, you know, how the body works. But at Redeemer, he learned all those things, but he also learned, you know, in addition to that, how God designed the body to work yeah. and, and learning about how cells repair and things like that. And just I thought that was that was a great you know illustration of the difference between what Christian education can be as opposed to a secular education uh, here at Redeemer. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a great example right there, Zach, of what we'd be trying to do, at least there of like, yeah, keeping the focus on like, yes, you're learning all the stuff about the body, but going out beyond just what the body is as well, too. I mean, Ken's nice uh, in the fact that, you know, we've got kind of a broad uh, spectrum of things that you'll learn, but from anatomy to physiology to motor learning to uh, psychology, um, exercise physiology, training, uh, exercise training, that is. And so a bunch of things like that. And then just kind of trying to lump, bring together as well the kind of the whole body as well. It's the body isn't just the body. I mean, God has created it. And so how are we uh, to redeem that? So, yeah, I, I love that. love that example, actually. So, yeah. And and kind of on that note, do you have any examples of you know some students that you've worked with uh, that you've kind of seen? them grow from you know year one to year four and just their understanding about how God designed the body to work? Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, so with my, I mean, yeah, I've been here, uh, I guess, a number of years now. Uh, the first few are part-time and then I got to full-time uh, after that. Most of my classes, I think pretty much all my, you know, nearly all my classes are second and third years. So I see them kind of in the middle of the time. Uh, I'll, yeah, I guess I'll see some in the fourth year as well. That's that that can happen too. So I, I don't often see them in first year though. Uh, and so with that, I don't see a big broad uh, <laughs> spectrum there. Plus, I got to account for the fact that most of my full time schooling has been during COVID uh, as well. Yeah. So I have unfortunately not seen. Uh, not to say that it doesn't happen. I believe it does happen, but. For any personal stories in that regard, nothing is coming to mind right now, but I'd say probably a lot of that's just to do with the fact that, you know, I, I, I was here during COVID. And so uh, what kind of uh, changes have I been able to really witness in students as well? Uh, so unfortunately, yeah, there, I can't think of anything in particular, but it is so great. I mean, I'll, I'll speak to kind of like just convocation at the, uh, so after students graduate and hoping to see them back for convocation as they get their degrees. And it is, it is 
great to see them and i just love seeing them actually they've accomplished this and i i mm -hmm. fully support like all the work that they've gone into uh accomplishing that and so uh loving that and it's also sad as well too where like man i've i've known these students for like at least three years perhaps as many as four years uh, of all their schooling and now they're kind of gone and gone out to the world which is great to see and like i pray God's blessing over them. Uh, but it is sad. Like I've, I've known them so much. I feel like I've got to really know them and now they're gone. And so it's, yeah, it's, it's <laughs> quite sad as well. Uh, every convocation, but at the same time, joyful as well too, for what God's got in store for them as well. Yeah. And, and, you know, thanks for, for sharing that. And do you have any examples of some of the opportunities that some of Redeemer graduates have gone on to, to, you know, to do in their professional life? Oh, yeah. Uh, so I've only gotten to know probably just this past year at Convocation. I, I make an effort to see every one of the kinesiology or phys ed students that I've had over the over the years um, that they've taken uh, kin or phys ed at Redeemer. Uh, and so this year in particular, I can think of a few that have gone on to physio clinics working there. Um, others have gone on to, I do know few that have applied to grad school. Actually, I know, uh, great for this student as well. She got in at, uh, it was in Florida, I believe somewhere for her master's in athletic therapy. So that was exciting to see her, uh, what, That's awesome. what's going on with her life. Uh, what else have we had? Chiro I think chiropractic college is where one student as well this year is going to apply. So he's going hopefully somewhere. He doesn't know where yet in terms of waiting for admission acceptance, uh, to wherever he's going to go. So uh, that was another one. Uh, others go on to teachers college. So I get to see them uh, afterwards a bit as well, too, in the halls. I don't have any more classes, but I see several of them sticking around for teachers college uh, at Redeemer, too. So we could throw a plug in for that one as well as heck, the uh, yeah. education department. <laughs> Yeah, that episode is not up yet, but it will be. It will be, it will be an episode for our teachers' future, uh, college future program. program. Yes. Yeah, so, <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I try to think. Uh, I, there's been others as well too. Uh, I can't think of anything right off the the cusp, but uh, yeah, no, it's it's great to see and trying to keep track of where those students are going is yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. Definitely. And, and so going back to, and I, I, I feel like it's so easy to talk about like the opportunities that a kinesiology or a physical education degree can present you afterwards. But what about during your degree program? Uh, you, you kind of touched on how students get really, you know, they get to know their professors, they get to know their fellow students really well. I know when I walk the hallways, I see you know, get the kin students, you know, studying for an exam or a test that's coming up. But could you speak, what is that experience like for, you know, a kinesiology student or physical education student at Redeemer? Um, so study part or other things beyond? So, sorry, I should have been more specific, more so the academic nature of it. Like what kind of workload can they expect? Is oh. it mostly tests? Do they write a lot of essays? Ah, uh, I see. Okay. Yes. So with that, um, so in the courses I teach, I try to keep it, we, we all, I guess each of us professors tries to keep it relevant to uh, what is best for that particular course that they're in. So uh, I think of uh, anatomy. I taught that for one uh, semester, at least I don't have that opportunity for one semester. Um, but yeah, focusing a lot on just kind of that one. I never like to say memorization, but honestly, for anatomy, that's probably what it comes down to is just kind of memorizing all the parts of the body. And so that's kind of the focus and we'll kind of keep that on. Uh, through frequent testing uh, in, in that particular course. <clears throat> Moving on to uh, your second and third plus years uh, as well, you get into the lab experiences, which is really great. I mean, yes, you'll have that at other secular institutions as well too, but here at Redeemer, we keep our labs sections as small as we can at least, so you really get to experience things. And so I remember my experience at a secular institution and a big lab of like 20 plus students, I think it was, and you only got to have maybe uh, one time of all your lab sections throughout the year where you actually did the experiment yourself, whether it's a view to max test or Wingate test or whatever other things that go on. Whereas here at Redeemer, you've got your opportunity to actually experience things yourselves, which I would encourage students to do. That's how you're really going to learn and get an appreciation for the body God gave you. Uh, so that's, I think, a big thing as well. So there'll be lab sections with Little lab assignments is what I do for my students as well. 
So it's usually assignments. So there will be tests as well. Um, in terms of essays, there's not too much in kinesiology with essays. There will be a few, uh, mm-hmm. but it won't be heavy there. So uh, I'm not too sure. Dr. Sinden, uh, I'm not familiar with, well, I'm not familiar with uh, Dr. Sinden or Dr. Morose's uh, courses as much and what they exactly do in there. But my guess is Dr. Sinden, she probably might have an essay or reflection paper, uh, especially in some of her upper year courses as well, too, for a student. So that's a great uh, thing. I'm sure the students don't like at that moment, but it is a great reflection for them to actually think about, you know, how does this apply to them personally, perhaps, or other topics like that. So there will be those sorts of things. Um, And yeah, just, uh, oh yeah, I think of uh, other lab assignments like formal lab reports as well. So getting familiar with scientific writing, uh, basically is what I would say to that one as well. So uh, there'll be, yeah, a plethora of uh, things and it'll just be geared towards however best helps us get across the information and testing of that information that we uh, can for our individual courses, whatever relates best there, I would say is, I think that's kind of, yeah. And yeah, I would say again, like if there's a lot of kind of, I find self-reflection in some of the courses I know uh, you have to assess yourself for whether it could be a fitness thing or a nutrition thing or like dietary nutrition thing or whatever else it might be. So. Awesome. Yeah, no, you did a great job summarizing that. Right. <laughs> and, you know, I, I'm sure there's a lot more to it. And, uh, you know, oh, yeah. there, there's, if anyone's watching and, you know, you're hearing this and you want to know more information, feel free to check out our website, redeemer.ca, uh, or you can email us at admissions at redeemer.ca and we're happy to connect with you uh, to provide more information. And even if you come for a visit, you you know, maybe you meet right. Dr. Love in person. I'm sure I can, uh, I can safely say you, you don't mind talking to prospective students that have questions as well. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Yeah. So just one final question is what would you say your favorite thing about Redeemer University in general is? Uh, I would say probably the, the community for sure, I think, and kind of like this, the small size or the smaller size of Redeemer, it's growing, which is awesome. Uh, the smaller size of compared to other institutions where you get that community feel, you can more easily experience it. You're not overwhelmed with, oh, there's tens of thousands of students here. No, we've got a smaller community there where you can actually get to know everybody. Uh, so that community, uh, which allows for good fellowship. And so obviously building of each other spiritually as well. I think uh, that's probably what I, I think of most when I think of Redeemer um, there. Yeah, I think that's a summary of it. Awesome. Well, Dr. Love, thank you so much for coming on the podcast today. And, uh, you know, I, I look forward to, see, to talk to you in the future and we might have to have you on another episode. <laughs> thank you so much, Zach. It's been a pleasure. We hope you've enjoyed this episode of the Redeemer University podcast. Thank you again to Dr. Love for coming on and giving us insight into Redeemer's kinesiology program. If you would like more information on Redeemer, please check out our website, redeemer.ca, and you can always connect with us by email at admissions at redeemer.ca if you're interested in applying. God bless, and we'll see you in the next episode.